Hi, so before I reset this Wemo and reinstall it from scratch, I want to talk about how this Wemo installation actually works. So this Wemo device is actually a Wi-Fi hotspot in itself. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your phone and the and connect directly via the Wi-Fi to this device. And once you connect via Wi-Fi to this device, you're going to set up the Wi-Fi password of your network into this device. And once you do that, this device will connect to your internal Wi-Fi network. So um, I think what's tricky for most people is they don't realize that this Wemo is a Wi-Fi hub itself and you're going to have to connect to it in order to program it directly. So uh, let me get started and you'll see what I mean. And so you'll notice in the back here there is a Wemo ID and it says Wemo Insight 84D. Now that will be the name of the Wi-Fi hub or Wi-Fi network of this device that I'll be connecting to. So I am going to go ahead and reset this and plug it in. And the way I reset it is there's a button up here and I am going to put a pen cap here, depress the button and plug it in and hold it for five seconds as I'm plugging it in. So I'm going to hold it here. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006. And make sure you have the Wemo app installed on your net on your phone here uh, via Google Play or if you're using Android via via Android or um, I mean via iOS. So um, right now I am going to go into the settings and I am going to go into my Wi-Fi network. So you'll notice I disconnected from my Wi-Fi here. I'm on 4G LTE right now. I'm going to go into settings, go into my Wi-Fi, and I'm going to turn on my Wi-Fi now, and I am going to look for that Wemo device. And sometimes it takes a while for the Wemo device to come up. You'll, you'll notice it finally came up and it's this device. Notice it matched the ID that I showed you in the back of the Wemo. So what I'm doing here is I am going to connect directly to that Wemo device. And you'll notice it's obtaining the address. So it's correct. It's connecting directly to this device now and now it's connected. Once it's connected, I get to go to my Wemo app and now is where I set up, you'll notice it's connecting to the Wemo Insight 84D device and now it goes through the wizard for the setup and I can name it by typing here so I will just say you know that this is the living room fan remember the Wi-Fi's and what I'm doing here is now I'm setting up the connection to my internal Wi-Fi and this might take a while Notice it says unable to connect. Please re-enter the password. So that's my internal Wi-Fi network that I have normally that I connect to. So now it's prompting me to choose my internal network, which is Willow 88A for me. And I am going to put in my password, click save. 
So now this is going to configure this device to connect to my internal network. There you go, it's finally doing it. Willa 88A is my internal Wi-Fi network. And now remote access is enabled. Looking for devices. And you'll notice now it shows up again. And if I click this button, you notice it had that click that turns on. Of course, I don't have the fan plugged in. And I'm going to turn it off. So there are other features here. You'll notice it does measure, you know, some of the wattage. So I did measure this device itself. If you're wondering how much energy this device itself actually uses, it uses a little bit over one watt because of the Wi-Fi connection that it has. So let me go ahead and plug in my fan. You notice for me I have two devices here. You'll notice now my fan's on when I tap it. Now we do have that upgrade fail because I try to upgrade the firmware while it was already updated. And that message doesn't seem to disappear. So that seems to be a glitch in their software. But overall it still works. So you could do other stuff like you, you could program it to turn on and off at a certain time. So there's a scheduler here for that. And uh, you'll notice here I have a schedule where I turn it on at 6.30 and I turn it off at 7.30. And once again, this switch here is a touch switch. So that's touch sensitive also. I could turn it on and off like that. Um, but that's really it. That, that's really what I wanted to show with this Wemo device. Um, the setup's actually pretty easy once you understand what the steps are and how this thing is actually configured as far as the setup. Um, but that's really it. I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you for watching.